Hello friends, it's your buddy Keith here at Essex Recording Studios, yet again in the kitchen with another American Fender Stratocaster from one of my favorite series. This is the American Highway 1 series. Vintage headstock with the vintage logo, I totally dig it. On this year, you've got two roller string trees, two are better than one, as many say. But even better, this gorgeous tuxedo black nitrocellulose finish. If you look closely at this finish, what you'll see is kind of like the orange peel. Let's brighten this up maybe. There we go. It's kind of like the orange peel you see on a car that's just been painted. And what happens is over time as you play it, you'll get a nice shiny patina on the spots where your skin makes contact with the guitar. And uh, that way, no two are the same that you see on the secondhand market because everybody sweats differently, they play differently, their arms touch in different spots. This one, however, is in relatively new condition. There's a little sticker that was there, so there's some glue from the sticker. I'm not going to bother messing with that because I'm not good at those sorts of things. So I'd much rather let someone else look up what uh, compound is best for removing that. Uh, on the back here, again, you can see this orange peel. That's like brand new, this finish. And it's all very, very even. Still has the Fender Silver Bullets sticker on the back. Neck plate is, again, the sticker. sticker's still there. There's virtually no scratches or anything on that. And the neck is completely clean. There's no dirt spots or anything. If you've seen a lot of these guitars in person, the unfinished maple necks can get quite dirty and grimy over time with use. Fender sealed tuners. And then there's your serial number. Z62651125. The Z is for zeros, so 2000. 2001, 2002, that's 01, 02, 03, 06, it's a 2006. Made in USA. If we flip it around to the front, you will see the fretboard. Again, the frets are like new, there's no wear on this. And if you've seen these necks in person, see around the black of the inlay there, there's a little bit of like lacquer around the border. What you usually see on guitars that are 12 years old, like this one, is that border, that lacquer around the inlay, gets all cracked and chipped and, and crappy. But not the case on any of these. Could use a little bit of a dusting and probably a little bit of a wipe down on the frets because it's been sitting in this case for quite some time. It was uh, in the collection of an older gentleman who just did not play this guitar. But we'll give it a little bit of play here at the studio. It's available for anybody who wants to rock out while they're here. And hopefully it goes to a great new home to one of you guys on the internet. Thank you so much for watching the video. It is for sale on our website. It's EssexRecordingStudios.com. And that's hosted by our good buddies at Reverb. I spent like two hours talking to them today. Their headquarters for Europe are out in Amsterdam, and I'm going to visit them when I go to see the Scorpions play in April. How awesome is that? My cousin Brendan lives out there, too, so I'm going to drink a few beers with him. First time in Amsterdam. If you guys ever been out there, post some comments. Let me know what you think of the place. Everyone I've talked to loves it and says it's super clean. So, I'm going to sign off. Many more guitars coming your way. Please click subscribe to the channel. Post comments, go to Facebook, we're Re Essex Recording Studios, give us a like, we're like three shy of 1,200 likes, so if three of you could do that today, you'd be my superheroes, and I will see you very, very soon. Goodbye.